You're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the full show, head over to the live tab on YouTube or get to Spotify to listen to the full episode. Enjoy. We had a fun weekend this weekend. Obviously, one of the big changes from split one to two was the uh, kind of balancing out of, um, you know, all the regions playing on one weekend and then Europe. So we added a couple to this side. We've got Europe, OCE, and APAC to discuss today. We're going to start things off with a regional recap of Europe. Vitality, they're winning their first regional since the perfect ending to the 2023 season. What has changed from split one to split two? I want uh, Jens to answer this because fairly so. I don't want to say this isn't like, oh, blah, blah. Jens was actually pretty critical of Vitality in the yeah. first split. Yeah. But yeah, something had to have changed that you maybe saw or didn't see because they are not winning this tournament in, in your eyes, at least, last one. So I'm giving the floor to you. Yeah, I, I didn't think even for this regional they would have sure. figured everything out. Um, but they've had some time and they've made good use of it. And I'm, I'm really happy to see that because I never was a Vitality hater. I was a big Vitality doubter though. Yep. Um, and I think there was good reason for it. I think they did look like maybe the weakest of the, the Francophone teams, which is not a position you want to see the reigning world champions in. So, I mean, it's good to have them back. It's really lovely to have them back. What happened? I mean, if you look at the, the playoff bracket, they met their first French team uh, in the grand final. So lucky them, I guess. <laughs> uh, but the other team stepped up. So it, it's yeah. not, you know, you, you can't just say Europe is the French, only the French yeah. teams anymore. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can, you can but <laughs> you, you'd be partially wrong this yeah. time. Uh, whereas, you know, Grid Surf Resolve, they were a very good team this weekend. Um, are they on the same level as the Francophone teams? Usually no, but everyone can pop off, have their day. Rocket League uh, is such a mental game yeah. that, you know why it's such a mental game? Because it's such an easy game, you know? There's a reason why everyone's super young in this esports because if you have the mechanics down, you don't need years and years of experience to get right. all the tactics right. You can just pop off, and that's right. what some people do. Do they just pop off? They have the right mental. They're feeling good on the day, and they can win. And Fatality obviously needed to figure out their own play style. I think they were figured out by the other teams. People were just so on the hunt to beat Vitality because they were the team to beat, literally and figuratively. So it took them a while to get back into, into swings. But right now, I mean, they're on top of the world, I guess. It's really nice to see. Yeah, I, I just, I'll just add quickly. feels like, I don't know if it was just that they performed better, but it feels like they were a little less Zen-centric this time around, uh, on their at least on their offense. Um, and uh, I think that's how they were the best team in the world where it was yeah. Zen is such a chameleon of a player. It's what makes him the best player in the world. He, he can be like a super ultra carry, but like he can also really affect the game uh, in other ways. Um, and that's what makes him kind of above a lot of the other uh, kind of prodigies that entered the game and why he was able to find success so quickly. I was actually going to do a bunch of like deep diving on advanced stats and stuff, but I have some other stuff going on. And I couldn't do that. I'm sure there is. I would love to see if there is a play style change in like where players are staying and how much players are behind and in front of the ball. But at this point, I just have to chalk it up to the fact that they changed something to rely less on Zen. Um, and it, it, you could see it. I think Alpha and Rado played fantastic and they've, you know, kind of beaten a lot of the charges of uh, carried true. and frauds. That, that they were faced on after that G2 yeah, series. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Rodosin is always going to have his moments. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's fun. It's part of his personality at this point. Um, but Alpha was playing out of his mind, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He really stepped up when he needed to. And if you have then Zen to clean things up as well, I mean, you just have a very, very solid team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, don't, don't, you don't want to oversimplify things, but I think... I mean, I think that is the big difference. You know, at the at the major, I think Zen was a huge part of why they were able to go as far as they were. I think the other two just performed a little bit weaker. Um, and when those guys play to the level that they can, 
Yeah. Obviously, this team is just leaps and bounds better. And here's what I know. Anytime we see the Rado bounce in the chair, it's over for the opponents. <laughs> it is over. When that man is feeling it and playing well, Vitality is... Yen's so got a good one. Yen's is like, yeah. he almost looks like he's floating. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, my chair is I'm my real. most expensive furniture in the house. So I, you gotta I, be hope, careful with it. I hope I got a good bounce on it. Um, so Vitality, they get their first regional win. And, you know, we'll, we'll get to this later, but I wish that wouldn't have happened because now there's, <laughs> really, there's really only one team that is within striking distance for Oxygen um, as far as the season goes with points. BDS is still dangling a little bit lower than the other three. Um, you know, Mate's getting that major win and now Vitality getting the regional win. And obviously anything can happen because if Oxygen were to win a regional or BDS wins a regional, right? Like there can be huge surges. So, but yeah, I, I was a little bummed. With that, um, let's talk about Mates. Yeah, they, let's get into it. Uh, bounce right over Oxygen there in the top four in a... A roller coaster, you know, an emotional up and down for me specifically of um, a series. <laughs> I mean, they fell down um, 3 1 in the series and then ended up bringing things back. Uh, they're, I think that was a, you know, personally, I don't, I'm not talking about specifically beating Oxygen, but I'm thinking like beating that situation. I think that was a big moment for Mates. I think it obviously would have been better to, to win the finals as well, but to kind of fall behind to a team that in their mind they probably shouldn't be losing to. From the community perspective, I think they probably shouldn't be losing to Oxygen. And so to fall behind, but, you know, be able to kind of keep your composure, um, you know, stay in it and end up coming out with the victory when it's all said and done. I think that was something that is, is surely, I don't even know, I don't even know if it's going to inspire confidence, but I think avoiding that loss will definitely shrug off any potential doubt. You know what I mean? Do you Serious think it was question. more... Sorry, go okay, ahead. I have a question too. Do, do you yeah, think yeah. it's more on Oxygen yeah. just kind of not being able to close it out like they got the mental block there or do you think that maybe gentle mates had the experience from the players and the coaches to um to regain to regroup during the series after the timeout get sure. all their four wins well i think a little of both um because i i almost think those are like i think those things kind of like coincide or, or work together almost um if i'm not mistaken I, I can't remember completely but i think oxygen even won a game after um, the mates yeah, yeah. timeout. So yeah, um, it wasn't like an, a, an immediate flip, but I, I do think the auction team felt victory within their grasp, and they know how important every win in the playoff bracket is for their season. And I think it's one of those things where early in the series, of course, there are nerves, but like nothing is final yet. We're in game one. We're in game two. It doesn't matter if they win both of them. Like the, the series is just beginning. But now you're on three one. Like you can finish this up, right? Yeah. It kind of it kind of clicks in your mind. Like oh, it's real. And if you watch that game five and game six, there were some mistakes that Oxygen made, both decision making and even mechanically, execution wise. I mean, y'all can remember the big the big miss there in the middle of the field. Um, I think Archie had a, a pretty big miss on defensive side of things that left the other two behind him in an awkward position um, in the. I think game five. I can't remember exactly, but there were two, for me, two big breakdowns. And then you, you, I mean, you also saw the kickoff goal uh, at the beginning of one of those games. It just felt like the nerves set in where we realized, oh, sh we can do it. You know, like we're right here. We're about to get to the grand finals. And when the weight of that moment hit, it felt like that's when we started to falter or maybe got nervy um, or anxious to try to make it happen and started forcing things. Um, I thought game seven, they actually kind of maybe – you know, the, the thing flipped a little bit and they kind of had their back against the wall. And so it was a little bit different. Um, I thought game seven, they actually played better. And I think that game seven, General Mates fully outplayed them. I think mm -hmm. game five and six, Oxygen kind of gave them a little bit of a boost, you know, gave them a freebie, made a mistake. And General Mates were, were you know, consistent enough to punish it. But I think, um, I think a little of both, because if you don't have that experience that Mates has, and obviously that huge win at, at Major probably brought a lot of confidence and, and, maybe made this moment feel smaller. Do you know what I mean? Because they just came off of something such, such, yeah. so much larger. Um, so I think it's a little of both. I think some experience from the, the general mate side and that auction team probably feeling really desperate to make something crazy happen and, and, you know, try to rebound in the second half of the season. Yeah, yeah, you hear that from a lot of players who've been yeah. to the big stages that an online regional like this doesn't get the blood flowing in the same way. Right. 
I'm just happy people are going to stop pretending that gentle mates were like bad online. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. y- you look at it, their season now across the season, they've made it the same amount of finals as Carmen Corp and they've won a land. And obviously, you know, KC has totally has a claim to the best team in the world. Um, I think they did after the major. I didn't agree with it just because of the strength of schedule that gentle mates had. It's not like they beat bombs. They beat almost every other contender. Yeah. Um, but I am, I'm really happy to see that what they were doing on that stage yeah, seemed translate. to translate. It seems like we did get that regional one, that yeah. major performing gentle mates. And once again, I mean, I, I just keep got to say it. I keep having to say it because I feel like no one does. Seiko, what he's able to do for their play style is beautiful. They ask him to do so much in terms of managing the game so that Itachi can really aggressively challenge and Juicy can kind of get loose. Yeah. And he has answered every single call since that major to essentially uh, be responsible for so much and unlock his teammates in a way. It is beautiful to watch. And um, every time I watch him, I've loved him since the first regional I watched him play. But every time I watch him on this team, it becomes more and more apparent to me how how much he's responsibility he shouldered and how yep. easy it seems to be for him. to do. Yeah, he's rocking. That you know, made seem definitely, I, I think... I mean, they, they have to be shrugging the, the you know, the, the doubt. Um, it was there. It was present at the beginning of the season. They immediately went top two, right, in the first event. Yeah. And then followed up with those two top eights. And then the doubt started to creep back in. And I'm, I'm one of the people. You know, I'm one of the people. But um, they won the major. Oh, I was out on them. Yeah, I was out on them. And they but, proved me wrong. But Yeah, they're, they're, that's right. They're shrugging the doubt. I think uh, slowly but surely they are solidifying themselves um, in the community's mind as – one of probably top two, top three, maybe top four teams at worst in the world. Uh, another good performance there, top two in the first regional back. Um, Joyo, let's see, Joy Oxygen. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to coin that. I'm trying to get that going. We got all kinds of names. But he's already been there. It's like new he's, Joy you're Oxygen. Right, you're right. Uh, but they set the tone for the split with a top four placement and a win over Carmen Corp. A huge victory. Um, have they already proven that they are a true threat to the Francophone teams? beat kc the answer is yes because there's there has, yeah. they're the first team domestically to beat kc in right. a regional and they did it in a fashion that was very much it felt like they had their foot on the neck the whole time and now that's obviously not the best carmine corp you'll ever see but there's no guarantee we're ever going to see that first split carmine corp ever again if that's the carmine corp we're getting it's still an elite 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 lead team that went 3-0 yeah. in swiss um and you know I wanted to bring one, but like I said, I've been busy. I need a lot of people to sign that Joyo apology form. (laughs) I'm sorry. I didn't know ball. I don't watch Rocket League. I look at Liquipedia type people all across the world. I call them Liquipedia watchers. Okay. They don't watch watch the game. They watch the results. Pretending that this kid isn't still a freak of nature on that pitch and on the sticks. Okay. Now he's on a team with talent around him that makes sense. Now he's on a team where he's able to get a little bit of space. And shocker, he's 1v, not 1v3, but he was offensively carrying, Mm. not even specifically goal scoring, but if you watch the series, his ability to use his mechanics to get his team out of the signature Carmen Corp midfield pressure and flip it so that they had the ball in the other team's end, he was doing it on a dime. They had Mm -hmm. no answer for it, right? And this is the team that employs Vatira and Atau as mechanical defensive players. And so I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I mean, Europe being a four-team region was pretty decent. I mean, four teams that can actually contest for everything is amazing. Mm-hmm. And this quarterfinal bracket set it up for a top four francophone teams again, right? There was mm-hmm. one of each in every quarterfinal, but that didn't happen. We actually have a very competitive field right now, aside from those French teams. So, of course, uh, Oxygen is right there to to grab a spot like that. If if Carmen Corp aren't playing their very best, then Joyo and Co will beat them. I mean, I'm more surprised by Resolve, but of course, uh, yeah. But, but Oxygen shouldn't come as such a huge surprise that. On any given day, there's a chance they beat a team like Armin Corp, mm-hmm. uh, regardless 
of whether uh, Carmine have to play on the orange side because I've, I've heard the copium. They, they had to play orange. I mean, yeah, orange on the jersey. They can't cope with that. It says it on their jersey. It says it on the jersey. They should be fine. <laughs> can, can, can we just take a moment? I'm about, I'm, you know, Vatira, 20, was it 26 straight? Yeah, 26 straight. I'm smoking it. The Vatira pack. It is I'm poetic that obviously pack. Joyo is the one that ended the streak for Vatira as oh, yeah. the other two teammates, you know, link up and, and dominate on Carmine Corp. Um, I, you know, I, w- I want to take a moment just because, uh, Michael, you know, you you wanted to call out the Joyo doubters. Well, you know, I've been a part of this team for a little bit, as, like from not not on the field, of course, but um, involved with the org and everything, commentating. And <laughs> I have seen <laughs> so much Archie slander. Yeah, Everybody about it. is on his case. He needs to be canned. He's not good enough. He's holding the team back. Anytime a goal goes in, it's Archie's fault. I see it in the Twitch chat. I see it on Reddit. I see it on Twitter. I see it everywhere. And it's the same thing that you described earlier, Michael. It's just Liquipedia watchers. You know, it's people that don't actually watch because Archie has been one of, no, the most consistent uh, player on this team for, I mean, almost two years now. Throughout each iteration with with Joriez as his duo, and they bring in Oli, they bring in Rise, they bring in Ixo. Archie is a piece that, is he going to be a game changer and take over? No. But is he going to be a solid anchor for your team that will be there to generate on offense when the opportunities are there and make sure that your back line is solid? Absolutely. I'm not saying he's mistake-free. No player is. But he is very consistent, and he brings his, um, you know, he brings that same level um, every event. And I, I, yeah. I just get... Yeah, I, I'm not sure if that's always a good thing, though. Being consistent on a team that doesn't get the results they are hoping for. I mean, if you're always last, you're consistent, too. Well, we are always last. What do you know? No, but that's... <laughs> Hold that's, on. Hold I'm on, just, What are you talking I'm about? Just, I'm just saying that's another way to be consistent. <laughs> that's if so you're funny. always last place, that's yeah, consistency. Yeah, but that we're not. Okay, no, I know one you're not. thing, quickly. We've been at multiple lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oxygen's a good Come team. Come on. But there have been there have been recent times where the results uh, could well were. Have they ever dipped below like sixth Europe since they got Archie? Uh, was like spring sure really that bad? I I don't think so. Did they make uh, did they make it in spring? Major, they didn't make no. the major. We didn't go spring. Boston, no. Yeah, which okay, of course, because the one land that they have in Oxygen's home city, of course, would make it. Yeah, I mean that's. They, th- I mean, yeah, they might have come like seventh then, but like, right. I swear they they've never dipped below like top eight Europe. Well, that definitely not below top eight. Yeah, and I feel like that's okay. They were at, like, they were at Worlds. They yeah. had to be sixth. Yeah, or, that's yeah, okay. No, I'm, I'm not saying they're they're a bad yeah, team. Yeah, you're, I'm just yeah, saying, you're saying that, that you're you want some more. Yeah, you're saying consistency mid. doesn't need to be praised. Apparently, yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, sometimes it even doesn't. Though, we pretend yeah, if, like if, you know what I'll, I'll grant it to you if we were consistently top 16 sure but we're not we're consistently yeah, yeah, yeah. and my point is everybody's pointing the finger at him when yeah, i yeah. think it doesn't need he to be pointed at him that. he brings a consistent level of quality rocket league each event and i think that is uh you know having a light shown on it at this point because you've got two pieces that i think another thing michael said makes a lot of sense you have two kind of aggressive players that play very free yeah. flowing and they benefit greatly from having a player that is more passive and, and more willing to play a support role and can bring a level of consistency because a lot of times those flashy highlight players, it is tough to be at that level every time you play, you know, those many times, those players, um, we talk about it on land because it's hard to bring that flash and flare when you get to that land and things are uncomfortable, you need that consistency. So I, I just wanted to uh, shine a light on Archie because I think he, fields a lot of exaggerated or even you know unfair criticism that is aimed at him uh yeah i mean where, that i wholeheartedly agree with where are his, where are archie's old teammates now one can't make major in na the other one missed a regional Ixo, we'll have to see what happens with Ixo. and chasset and, and uh and cassia you didn't hear from him again after they got carried by another different player at worlds that one time so it's like, you know, you can say, oh, Archie's been, you know, inconsistent. Oh, Archie can't do it, but he's overrated. None of the people leave. Nobody leaves Archie and suddenly becomes like the best player in the world. 
Like they, <laughs> they, 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 they either stay the same or they get worse in yeah. terms of results. So, you know, individuals different. I wanted to quickly say about Archie, I was watching a stream or I was looking at reading a translation of a stream with monkey moon, uh, where he was talking about the injury that he sustained when he crashed his car. Hope he's all good. Yeah. Um, and he actually randomly noted, he was like, Archie's been in my twos lobbies. He is like balling. Like I haven't seen a ball in years. So it makes a lot of sense that, yeah. you know, we, no, he stepped up now. his game. Uh, there, there were, have been concerns. Like he's in, uh, he has wrist issues, right? Archie. Is that he, true? he has, he has gone through some different issues. Um, he hasn't always been able to, for whatever reason, to yeah. put in the hours. Yeah. And that, that does translate to the field sometimes. Um, but I, I do wholeheartedly agree that support players, because that's what he is on a team when you have Joy and Oski on your side, yeah. uh, support players are underappreciated wherever they go. Uh, you see it in a tactical shooters like Counter-Strike and Valorant, where the IGL, the person who has to make the most calls and usually plays a support role, they don't frag out. They don't get all yeah. the shots. They don't get all the kills. So they, right. they're always underappreciated. They're always People are always calling for their head. And you see something similar with with a player like Archie. It it, it does make sense that they get underappreciated, that people yeah. don't really see what they're actually doing. Yeah, people people uh, appreciate the highlight reels, obviously, reasonably so. I mean, who doesn't love a good highlight yeah, reel? Joy but, on uh, that pitch, man. That yeah, just like you said, a lot of the other players that that brings things to the table um, get underappreciated. Well, let's talk about Resolve. They had a huge victory. In a thriller of a series uh, over Team BDS, and I mean that went to Game Seven. If you haven't watched it, you need to go watch that. It was a crazy series, back and forth, multiple zero second goals to win games, not push them to overtime to win them. And I mean, you mentioned it earlier, like we were looking at this top four, and then obviously the the big buzz throughout the sp the, the the split window there was Luna Galaxy and Oxygen. Can either of those teams do it? And then here we have, you know, a team that I think very few people were paying attention to is one of the squads that ended up taking down a top four team. Yeah. I mean, there's a good reason why people didn't pay attention to them because they barely even qualified for the top 16 against the other British uh, squad of uh, endpoints. They, they went to game five to even get there. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually the subject of this weekend's most popular and vicious beef. Tadpole versus Andy the Man. <laughs> Coach you guys weren't coach. there. They were going in. They were. It was oh, like. Yeah. Were they? I oh, listen. I heard oh, a few God. mean things said between public figures this weekend. Nothing was meaner than what Andy the Mandy said to Tadpole. I can't listen, believe that. I like to laugh a little bit at Tadpole EU cope. We all do. It's like it's like what he does. But that was a little. I was like, damn. Like this is how you feel about this guy for because because he plays. He said this thing. You remember who said it? Someone said. Tadpole is a pay-to-win Rocket League coach because he had to get better players. So my question to whoever said that, I can't remember what it is, is Farah a pay-to-win Rocket League coach because he couldn't win with Kadop and Gary, but he won with is that not like the, Vitality. Is, is that not the whole thing. system that it's built on? I mean, are these orgs pay-to-win? Yeah, you're a pay... You know what? You're a pay-to-win org, Carmen Corp. You're buying all the best players and just now that you win the regionals, I'm not impressed. <laughs> I like to see go bargain. You, win, you bought the best yeah. players. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it was cool. I mean, I, mean, I, think I, Cash, I said the top 16. I meant the top eight, of course, against yeah. Endpoint, right? They almost the, got reverse to, swept. To get to the quarterfinals, they almost got reverse swept. Uh, and, and then they play against PDS. And spoilers, if you want to go watch the series, click off Stop watch now. them right now. Pause the video, come back. Okay. And they, BDS, lost. Two games, and they were like, whoa, wait a second, timeout. Called their timeout, lost the next game. Mm. O3. BDS miraculously come back, win two games, and then Resolve is like, whoa, wait a second, we're almost equal again. Call the timeout, and BDS win the game anyway. At zero I don't seconds. Know how, oh, I don't know how many times we've seen that at both timeouts. Yeah. Do not result in no a game way. win afterwards. I don't, I think that's pretty rare. Yeah, I agree. In hindsight, though, I think it makes a lot of sense because that was just a bonkers series. You know, what I mean, oh, yeah. like nothing Snake. felt normal. Everything felt like it was upside down world or something. I the mean, it's cannon, just... double tap for the win. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. It was wicked, man. Literally so the good. best moment would, for British uh, Rocket League of the we season. We do, right. we do highlights and stuff on my stream on on Mondays. Yeah. 
looking back through the best place. Sorry, what, what's your stream again? The stream is twitch.tv forward slash hootie hoo. Three O's oh, really? at the end. Don't forget it. And Cash used every drop of boost in the tank. He had like 46 when he goes up for the play. And after his first touch, he corrects towards the target. And when he is pointed towards the backboard, he has eight boosts in the tank. Just like oh, a little pfft, a little squirt. Like space jam. Dude, it was so perfect. And he, I mean, like Drawley's on the back or, or flying, you know, trying to make a touch off that backboard. I mean, it was, and then the fact that it doesn't hit the ground either, you know, like that could have yes. gone too yes. overtime. So it was yeah. so clean. Mm. I was on the train going back from going to the fair with friends, and I audibly gasped, like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, whoa, yeah, that's incredible that's so stuff, man. You know, I mean, that's that's a huge win for Cash. That's a huge. It's first top four for Raziers. Obviously, the best result for the um, the org resolve this season. Um, and, and you know, it's just, right? it's a lot of fun to see that emotion. You see them boot camping every event. You see the whole crew there supporting them behind them. And I mean, it just, those kinds of things are super fun. I love those stories. I love those moments. That stuff is, is, is so special. And I'm sure, you know, I'm sure that that will inspire confidence in this team uh, moving forward. I think they are uh, you know, not, 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 not to be completely overlooked. Are we going to talk about it though? I mean, we have to. The, you what could is, have done a whole is, not top 10 off of just that series. No. Oh, I thought what you were talking about, I thought, I thought you about the crossbars. Did you see? No. Dude. I was going to talk about, first of all, you're right. BDS, BDS, BDS they BDS can't shoot the ball. in the woodwork. I mean, it yeah. was a terrible was shooting tough. performance. I was going to talk about, <laughs> we know, we know it's Cash, right? And I, I really like Cash. I think he's a little bit underrated. He seems like a really nice guy. But we know what he's done for. Getting to that regional three mm -hmm. and bottling it. Now, I'm not saying I think he's going to, or I'm even. I'm definitely not saying I'm root. I'm not rooting for it. I would love for like to see a, a team in Europe come to nowhere and make a major. It would be really fun, right? And Cash and Ivan have been around for a while, and Rozier's had some good results outside of the RLCS. Yeah, so it'd be an amazing story that a, uh, a land, uh, sorry, a team goes to land outside of not even like a potential team that we're saying is on the bubble for the land, right. but a team comes out of nowhere. But. It has to be. It has to be set right. Like, it is kind of setting up for like just an absolute heartbreak once again for someone who has not, done nothing to deserve. You know, that the 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 yeah, pain that he's I, kind of felt. It. You know, sure, it is setting up. But I gotta. I gotta say. I mean, you. you I mean this with 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 love. But if you're huh. in Resolve Shoes, if I'm in Resolve Shoes, I'm not expecting to make major. No, you just I'm have to count your blessings. No. You have to appreciate what the hell you've done this weekend yeah. and try to replicate it, but you know That's it's right. not going to be anywhere near easy. It's, it, it, you know, it's the hope, it's the aim, it's the goal, but I, I don't think I would ever qualify that as an expectation. No, it shouldn't be. I mean, they, 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 they got to be thinking about it, though. It's like they get two top eights, course, they'll probably course. make it. Yeah. You know? I'm sure it's in their mind. And, and like I said, it's the goal. I mean, I guess ultimately it's the goal for every team, right? But um, yeah, but they can't forget about how difficult I, of a run through the Swiss stage they had to even right. get there. I, um, I mean, I think that's even true for Oxygen too. I mean, we did not look very yeah. good in the Swiss stage. You know, we're up and down with our performances. Um, I think, frankly, I think our best performance in the Swiss was our loss to to Carmi Corp. That that was when <laughs> we played our best ball. Actually, we did not look very clean against Fast Forward or George. Um, we got the wins, but it did not. It was not very good Rocket League. So, well, let's talk yeah. about a team that was on the radar as one of those threats, Luna Galaxy, who did trounce Oxygen in the Swiss stage. Um, they fail to go to the semifinals. They fail to beat one of those Francophone teams. They fall out in top eight, and they're not in a terrible position, but they're going to have to perform better if they want to make a run at the major here in split two. Yeah, I mean, I thought they looked good, but they just kind of looked like Magnifico last season. Like, if I told you Magnifico went 3-1, lost 4-1 to a mm -hmm. French team, you'd be like, yeah, that's yep. Atomic Stizzy and, to and, and uh, uh, Tox. Yeah, like, that's the, that's what they do. And, you know, obviously, you know, they didn't get to choose. Well, maybe they would have made a move either way, but they obviously, Stizzy left, and they picked up uh, a Chronic. And they, you know, based on his resume, you'd ha assume that you you get a little up, upgrade and you get you make a roster change to change the narrative about your team right uh, i thought they looked good i thought they looked better than they had all season in the swiss rounds i thought they looked really good in the swiss rounds, especially later on like you said they 
they had a really nice win over Oxygen, but um, really just never felt like they were going to beat Vitality, you know? So, um, you know, and uh, all, or sorry, they played, they played the Mates. Mates. Yeah, 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 they played the Mates, my fault. But I, I also don't think they would have beat Vitality. Yeah, but it's like... <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, yeah, and it, so it's just the the... You know, they did run into the major champions. They did run into, you know, what I, I think is the best team in the world right now. So you can't hate I mean, them there's that. no there's no good choice if yeah. you're running into one of the Francophone teams. Yep. And I think every... they would have beat BDS. I think they would have beat BDS. Yeah. I don't think yeah, they would have beat Timing, though. But, like, I, what I'm saying is, like, you know, you we, we talked about this when these moves were announced, was that there's going to be a little SSGing among a lot of these teams where it's, like, they're going to come away from their quarterfinal matchups believing that, hey, we went 3-1 in Swiss, we went 3-2 in Swiss, or 3-1 in Swiss, um, and we just got, like, someone else had a bad day, and that's why we're here, right? Um, but the reality is, unless another team has a great Swiss, you're probably going to have to play one of those teams, and you just got to beat them. Yes, that's, like, unfortunately what that's it right. is. Uh, exactly just right. Even if it means, because, like, at this point, if I'm, if I'm Luna, if I'm any of the teams in the top eight, I, like, there is going to be a pretty extended tiebreaker at one point in one of these regions it's just mathematically and so you know getting that one win to get that top four it keeps you it keeps you out of the danger of ending up in like a five-way tie break where your season comes down to two two series right so yeah i think it's important but i I didn't see anything from them i didn't see a level up that i really wanted to see and it was unfortunate I mean, it's good for oxygen, I guess. That's right, it is. Because, <laughs> like you said, it, that top four, those few extra points you earn can make all the difference. And that's right now four. the difference two between oxygen fours. and Luna. Yeah. Two top fours, you probably go to land, I think, is what it is. It's like two top fours and an eight, I should say. Right. Yeah. Unless yeah. unless we have like next event, top two is BDS Carmen Corp. Then things yeah. start to get a little bit wicked, which. Yeah. <laughs> Very much could happen. So. It's so possible. It's so possible. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely. I mean, it's a crazy. It's going to be a crazy split. I know. You know, my investment is obviously with Oxygen, and I'm super excited to watch them. And I kept saying this because I did a watch party during that quarterfinal with KC, and I was like, "Look, I know this is a top eight to top four game. I know that this is not a grand finals or anything, but I said this right here, very, very much Tone inside the season, right? Like Tone if setter. If we don't go top four here." We're going to have to go to a grand finals. We're going to have to win one of these next regionals if we want a chance. And that's because we kind of dug a hole yeah. in that first split and we've got to dig our way out. So, and Luna Galaxy is in a very similar position. If they, if they want a chance to keep their season alive for major two and for worlds, now with that top eight finish, they're going to have to go to a grand finals. They're going to have to try to win an event. They're going to have to go, go hard um, in these final two, two regionals. That was just a segment of Shiftcast. Full episode is on the live tab on YouTube or on Spotify. And you can watch another segment right here.